So the LPO, for example, I live in a very old house yes. uh, in Estepona. It doesn't have a license of first occupation because it's 200 years old. Yes. And they only introduced uh, the requirement for a license of first occupation in 1980. Yeah. Something is that right? Yes. Somewhere. So it's relatively recent. Yes. So, in an instance, and I know actually whole communities of apartments that don't have a license of first mm -hmm. occupation, mm -hmm. and yet there's transactions happening all the time mm -hmm. in those in those uh, communities. So, is it absolutely necessary to have a license of first occupation, or are there instances where? Right. You could ignore it. No, it is not absolutely necessary, as you say. It's convenient to have it, but there are buildings like like yours that it's very they are very old that they don't need to have a, a license of first occupation. It's not possible yeah. because the the law was, didn't exist exist at that time. So um, having an LPO guarantees you that. Uh, the, that property was built according to the project for which the town hall granted a building license. Yeah. And also you need to meet some other uh, building requirements in order to have it granted. And that LPO will allow you to get utilities in place. Yeah. Because this water company or electricity company will ask for it. But if it is an old property, you don't, they will not ask for the LPO. Yeah. Uh, if it is not that old, but there is no LPO, probably there is a problem behind. Even though if there is a problem, uh, the town hall may issue a certificate stating that this property complies with all the necessary uh, standard uh, services in order to be eligible for something equal to LPO. That so that's a certificate of non-infraction? No, that's a certificate made for mainly utility companies. Ah, okay. okay. You go to the town hall, ask please, I need to get this done. Uh, there are no uh, uh, actions to be taken, taken by the town hall against this property mm -hmm. in relation to any legal problem. So I need you to issue this certificate. So they will check it and if it is okay, they will say that this property complies with the town planning rules in order to get uh, the utilities in place. Okay. Each town has a different type of uh, certificate, but all of them must issue it because it's in the law. Okay. But for example, my house, as a good example, hasn't got a license of first occupation, but anyone buying my house yeah. using a lawyer, which obviously is a good idea in mm -hmm. Spain in general or any country, they would ask for a certificate of non-infraction from the town hall, wouldn't they, to say yes. there's no planning irregularities that have occurred in my house. Right. This is that you're right. Have occurred to the knowledge of the town hall. Yeah. So the town hall obviously will not certif certify something that they are uh, they ignore. Yeah. So it's it's a good point. It's, it's a good uh, thing to have. Yeah. The the, the certificate of non-infraction, but uh, if something has been done. Uh, was not known by the town hall. Yeah, they're not liable. They're not yeah. liable. Yeah. Uh, 